the idea of walking into a pulpit or, or uh, you know, walking in and having somebody hand you your script. Because I've always, I'll be honest, when, when Greer does his, my left arm will always be three times larger than my right arm because I preach the entire time holding a Bible. But what's, I'm actually, I'm not looking at the Bible. I have, this is my manuscript. And so I stand there and this is how I preach. All the references and stuff are in the manuscript. So it's sort of like you walk in, here's your thing. Here's what you need to do. Um, I don't, I can't preach that way. And I would, it would never, never cross my mind that, that people do, but people do. And so I discovered this docent research group and um, Bob Gagnon. Um, and you, you referenced, Rich referenced a Facebook article from Bob Gagnon where Bob Gagnon talked about this docent research group where J.D. Greer had written an endorsement for them saying, you guys make me look good. And I'm like, what is a, what is a docent? What? And so I, you know, you do your quick search, uh, duck, duck, go search, and you pull them up. So here's, here's one of the, it's fancy website, you know, real, you know, graphically rich type website. And so here's just one of the pages on the docent, docent research group. And it says, it's pretty small there, but he says, it says uh, research details. Our research team offers services ranging from book summaries to congregational surveys to sermon prep and planning assistance. When you partner with docent, you're extending your research capabilities and guaranteeing that you'll have the resources you need to do your job well. Learn more. Learn more. And so evidently, you can get a, an account. And I, I don't know what this costs. I, I don't know if it's a per sermon thing. I don't know if you can get an account and say, okay, I want you to... Maybe you can like fill in the thing about how big your church is, how many people attend, what's the demographics, where you're located, and maybe you'll get back this really snazzy, cool thing that you know in your area. This is this is how you should dress, and you shouldn't have a pulpit. You should have a pulpit. This kind of music. You should. I mean, there are people that do that, so maybe this is something like that. But notice book summaries to congregational surveys to sermon prep and planning assistance. And so when I threw this out, somebody on Twitter uh, threw back. Because one of the questions I asked is, um, okay, uh, so are the people at Docent, are they ordained elders? Or who are they? I mean, if you get a sermon outline, do you know who prepared it? What, what, where'd they go to school? What's their training? What's their denomination? What's their theological confession? Do you know? It, it, do you literally go in and say, I want 70% Calvinistic and I want uh, millennial and I want Gen Z? What do you just like click stuff to? How does this work? I, 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 can, I can't imagine, but evidently, because then someone else on Twitter had said, uh, I, I think, if I recall correctly, it was Bill Roach. I think Bill Roach had said um, that when this, this happened, was it Bill Roach? I'm sorry, Bill, if it wasn't you. Um, someone had said, and I thought it was Bill Roach, um, that there's probably like a Q source. In other words, the reason there's all this similarity in the same phraseology and stuff like that is there's probably a Q, Q source and maybe it is docent because more and more people are using it. I suppose that's a possibility. Um, 
I mean, that's not what Ed Litton said when this first started coming out. He said that he had J.D. Greer's um, permission and knowledge and so on and so forth. So that's not what he said. It wasn't, wasn't no, I was using this docent group and they sent us the same stuff. I don't, know, I don't know. But you have no idea who these people are. And so do, do you like get an outline and then check it out? Because remember, when Ed Litton first started responding to this, he's going, well, you know, we have this eight-person team. And so we spend time doing the language work. Really? Really? I'm sorry. If you're reading someone else's outline word for word, don't look me in the eye and say you did language work. Where are you going to stick that in at? Huh? Come on, you're not doing language work. But we do the language work and the commentaries and blah, blah, blah. We do all this work. If you're reading somebody else's sermon, why are you doing any of the rest of that stuff? None of it makes a lick of sense. But so you have the docent research group. I think, honestly, everyone in every church has the right to know whether what they are hearing in the ministry of the word in their services is coming from the actual study, experience, and mind of their pastor or from a nameless, faceless, second-year seminary student barely getting by making a few extra bucks doing sermon outlines and selling them online. 